Hey y'all, happy Saturday. What's going on the people? I've been away for some weeks. I've been traveling. We had Thanksgiving, so I've been missing our uh, Friday AM drive live with Dr. Ray. Y'all, it's December 1st of 2018. Can you believe it? This is it. We're here. We are here. <laughs> So, I strongly believe that how you finish the 2018 is how you're going to start 2019. So, how you finish this year is how you're going to start next year. So, you know, why wait until January 1st, you know, to uh, get going with, with your goals, your dreams, your plans. Why wait? Time is now. So, what I've been wanting to talk to you guys about is your dream. Been having some different conversations with people. Hey, sis! Happy Saturday! Happy December first! <laughs> um, I'm trying to get somewhere, so I'm gonna make this message brief. So I feel like I don't know where I'm going, even though I do know where I'm going. But um, I had an old friend tell me that my dream died, and I almost got offended. Hey, sis, I, I got kind of offended. You don't ever, ever let someone tell you that your dream is dead because your dream is not dead. Just because your timeline doesn't look like someone else's, it doesn't mean that your dream is dead. You know, and when we go through different things in life where sometimes we just have to readjust our goals and our plans and reconfigure some things, you know, because sometimes the dream that we have is not, it's not time for it to come to fruition. And sometimes we need help getting that dream into fruition. You know, life happens. We got bills to pay. You know, I'm still working nine to five. Of course, I have dreams to be able to retire that. But everything does happen in divine time. And sometimes God just has to continue moving things around and shifting things around and working on things inside of you so that your dream can come to pass. And so you have to go back, reconfigure what that dream is and what your goal is. So that just really hit me kind of strongly. Oh, it looks like I'm pulling up to where I am supposed to be. So, yeah, um, December 1st, this time to start. Start those plans for 2019. I'm so looking forward to 2019. And it is time to be about it and not just talk about it. But don't you ever, ever let someone tell you that your dream has died. You know, and honestly, you know, I've been, we all been going through some different things, you know, uh, my tribe and my tribe and, you know, I thank God for them because they continue to keep me lifted up and encouraged through it all on um, my worst days when I feel like, you know, what am I doing? You know, uh, how, how am I going to get this thing to come to pass of what I really, truly, truly desire? And so today, right now, as I'm pulling up to where I'm supposed to be, I don't want to pass it. I want to decree and declare with you that this time next year, you will not be the same person. You're, you will be walking and living out your purpose and your dream. And I just believe that to be true. You have to do the work. If you do the work, then a year from now on December 1st of 2019, you're going to be walking it out, living it out, your purpose, your goal, your dream. I love you guys and I will touch bases with you later. Have a blessed, blessed Saturday. Get those, get those vision board materials out. Start planning. Start writing the vision down. Get, get your 2019 calendar and get it ready. Get it ready and, and get your tribe around you. Get your crew around you so that they can help you bring into manifestation the purpose and the things that you know that God has placed in you. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Love you, sis.